ladies and gentlemen, we talked about properties of equality. We talked about the property of equality. We said, all right, this is pretty basic, Ms. McClellan. You said 2 squared equals 2x. Therefore, we knew x had to equal 2, right? Pretty easy. But that only worked when we had exactly the same base. Do we have exactly the same base? No. So we can't just say um, x then equals 3. Right? We got to make sure now that we're going to write them. Or is that 2 to the x equals 8 to the third power? Right, we have to write them now because what is 2 to the third power? 2 to the third power is 8, right? Is 8 equal to 8 to the third power? No, right? So this doesn't work. You have to have the same base. So I have a base of 2 and I have a base of 8. I need them to get them to be the same base. So there's a couple ways you guys can do this. You can either transform base 2 to base 8, or you can rewrite base 2 or base 8 to base 2. And usually we like to do the former, which is going to be Dustin taking our larger base and rewriting it as a base 2. Can we write 8 as a base 2? 8 is equal to 2 to the third power, right? So let's write that in. 2 to the x equals 2 to the third power. Where is it? Does everybody follow me and agree with what I did? So now we use the power of power rule of exponents. So I have 2 to the x equals 2 to the 9. Now we can use our property of equality. b to the x equals b to the y. x then equals y. So now our answer is going to be x equals 9. Isn't that cool? Yes, Emma. Um, I don't know. OK, well, that could work for easier problems like this. We're also going to get to some complicated problems where it, it might you're going to want to make sure you can follow these operations to do them. But yeah, so you can also just work in your calculator to do it as well. Um, we haven't gone through all of them, but uh, Robert, what was uh, the other way that you worked it? What she did. 